Another feature to Flipgrid as part of one of your topics in your grid is something called the whiteboard feature, which allows you to actually write on a whiteboard while narrating on top of that whiteboard so that you can demonstrate something, for example, a math problem that you want the students to solve or that you want to explain. So what we're going to do now is we are logged into Flipgrid and we're going to go to a grid where we're going to add a new topic and we're going to use this whiteboard feature. So I'm going to go into my grid and you can see as I scroll all of my different topics are already listed here. I'm going to add a new topic. So this is something new that I want the students to respond to. So again, you're going to add your topic title. You're going to adjust the recording time for the students as to how much time you want to give them for their response. And you can include some instructions or some kind of prompt in this box over here. So we have our title. We have a recording time. We have our writing prompt here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to choose the option that says record a video. So when we click on record a video, this is what is prompting to actually record ourselves. Mm. But we're not going to record ourselves in this one. You're going to see an icon over here that says that is a little whiteboard icon. And when you hover on it, it'll tell you what it is. By clicking on this, you have three different options. You have a whiteboard or you have a more traditional blackboard or you can write right on top of your face if you want to give yourself a mustache. But we're going to click over here on whiteboard. So now we have a whiteboard and honestly this works best if you have a touch screen and you have a stylus that you are working on otherwise you're going to have to use your mouse. But you can choose your pen color over here and then you can begin writing on the screen. So be before you begin writing on the screen, you obviously are going to hit record so that the students can hear and see what you were doing on the screen. So you get a countdown. So let's try and solve this addition problem together. We are going to add the following numbers. 100 plus 225. How would you solve this problem? So we've stopped recording. We can clear it if we're not happy with it, but if we want to see what it looks like, we can hit next and it will play back for us. So let's try and solve this easy problem. We're going to take the following numbers. Now this was a very simple example. If you did want to add more video to this, you could add more. If you weren't happy with it at all, you could X out of this and start all over again. But if you are happy with the way your whiteboard recording came out, you can click Next. And it asks you to take a selfie again, of course. So you're going to take a selfie. We're not going to look at my face again. We're going to put a little sticker on top and cover that up. Take your selfie and then you're going to click next and this is going to process your video and once it's been processed you will click complete and you will see here that it has been added to part of your topic so we're going to now click create topic here is the the flipgrid link that you can copy and paste directly into an email or paste into whatever digital means you are communicating with your students and your parents and this will bring them directly to the topic. So I'm going to click all set over here. So you can see here the video is ready to go. We can preview it. So let's try this So the students will click on this in order to view it and then they'll be able to respond using Flipgrid the way they normally do. And that's pretty much it. If you need to make any changes to this particular topic that you just recorded, you can always click on the pencil icon. Clicking on the pencil icon will allow you to adjust all the components of your topic. And you can also delete this focus and you can record another whiteboard um, video and include that one instead. And then you would click update topic. Once you click update topic and you click share, the grid, the topic grid will give you this URL and then you will again send this to your students and your parents.